What up, Pisces? Welcome to Starseed Direct. This is going to be your energy check-in for the month of September. Keep in mind, time is fluid. You can have Pisces anywhere in your chart, or you could be dealing with a Pisces, and this may still resonate with you. I am only reading energy, so take only what resonates and leave the rest. Let's go ahead and get started. By the power of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, please protect my energy as I divinate on the star sign of Pisces. Okay, we got the 10th house. For some of you, you have Capricorn in your chart or somehow a Capricorn is significant or something significant about your 10th house placement. So whatever you have in the 10th house, you want to look into your natal chart to get more details as this specifically has something to do with you. Pisces, shadow work is needed to progress in a situation, possibly regarding your finances or some kind of financial endeavor. Okay. You need to heal from something that happened in the past. Mm -hmm. You also have distractions. Okay, So something could be distracting you from fully investing in this endeavor with the energy that you would like to show up with regarding this enterprise. Messages for Pisces. Mm -hmm. step out of your comfort zone north node so again there's a lot of references here in regards to your natal chart the crown or third eye may also be significant you may intuitively know that the direction that things are currently going in isn't in alignment with what you truly are called to do so it's going to take you it's going to require you to take some time to rework something or to backtrack or to review something before continuing to move forward, okay? Essentially, what you're trying to do or what I would think would be the best advice for you, Pisces, is for you to step out of the comfort zone that you're currently in, do the shadow work that is required, and align your north node with your 10th house or something about them being congruent in the month of September is important. But you may not be seeing this at this moment, or you may be seeing it, depending on where you are, that there is something distracting you from being able to do this. Mm -hmm. Show the world the real you, okay? Pisces, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. For others, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or this may be placements that you have in your chart that are significant as well. Messages for Pisces. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's therapy or something therapeutic is necessary here. This could be nurturing of yourself or nurturing of another with a star here. Healing. Shadow work is needed to progress in a situation. Mm -hmm. Your north node is tied to this gain or abundance that you are seeking to achieve or maintain, right? You know that adjustments need to be made here for you to continue to elevate towards whatever this is. You got a lot of nine energy here also. Nine of pentacles, nine of cups. Happiness, wish fulfillment. Maybe you already have achieved this, right? But you're trying to maintain it. You're going to have to let go of distractions and focus on what needs to be better. You also need to be open to constructive criticism as well is what I'm getting. What is the 10th house? Uh -huh. For some of you, you may feel like you're stuck in a commitment. And this could be what's distracting you because you feel obligated to do something that you would rather be putting energy into something else, right? Or this may be your excitement or getting news, passionate communication about some other event, contract, or circumstance that is going on, but you can't approach this yet because you're stuck dealing with something else. But ultimately, you know that upon you doing the shadow work, and focusing on showing up in your most authentic state is what's going to allow you to continue to cultivate this 
abundance. Messages for Pisces. The exceeding brightness of your glow up makes me conceive how dark I have become. Right. So there is some underlining message here, refortifying the shadow work, that there is a circumstance or some kind of situation that has forced you to look upon things that maybe in the past you're not so proud of or actions that you have taken towards something or even just your perspective, your inner monologue in regards to how you perceive something. Mm -hmm. This could be in the form of control, strategy. Maybe you feel like you're having to manage too many things at once with the Two of Pentacles and the Emperor here. It's going to be important for you to maintain a balance to move forward. Okay, For some of you, your shadow work has something to do with trying to micromanage everything. For others, this may have something to do with balancing your personal life, Queen of Cups, and your professional life, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I'm hearing plan, fail to plan, or plan to fail, Pisces. In the month of September, it's going to be important for you to make sure that you keep the lines of communication open. If you need help, ask. If you need help, ask. That's a specific message for some of you. Maybe you feel like you've already reached a certain level of success that people are expecting you to be able to handle it. But no matter how much success we touch, Pisces, it's okay to ask for help if you need help. Ace of Swords, this is the truth. Okay, you're getting clarity now. 707, that... Regardless of what you got going on here, what you got cooking, okay? It's like cooking a feast, right? Beyond Thanksgiving, Sunday dinner comes around and you got the whole family coming over and it's like, you know, you're feeding more mouths than usual. So now you, you're you having to maybe think of more details that you usually don't think of, okay? It may be a little overwhelming for you. It's okay to ask for an extra pair of hands if needed. Hmm. Let's pull a chakra card for you, Pisces. They just fly in. Heart chakra. Radiate warmth and sincerity. I am open to sharing, accepting, communicating, and connecting with others as I focus on this moment, not the past or the future. A smile, a kind-hearted way of speaking, or a hug goes a long way towards uplifting others. I offer care and support where I can without rescuing. I nurture and respect my relationships. So this has a dynamic, again, of you balancing being independent in some way, but also being there for others, okay? It's important for you to keep your heart open and radiate this energy in everything you do. This is going to allow you to be able to balance out some kind of situation here that you may be juggling, okay? Pride often gets us in trouble, Pisces, and let me tell you why. Maybe you're holding something against someone because in the past they couldn't show up for you in the form of facilitation that you may have desired. But it doesn't mean that because you got a no last time that you'll get a no this time. It's important for you to appreciate those who are willing to listen. And they're not going to be able to know unless you communicate that. Hmm. It's definitely communication that's indicated here. You may be confused. You may not know what to say. Okay, maybe you're trying, you're, you're going off of what happened in the past. Okay, it could have been an argument or some kind of conflict. For some of you, this involves children over the Ace of Swords. It's important for you to move with warmth and sincerity in a situation. Perhaps this person couldn't or this circumstance couldn't have 
you know, shown up in a better light in the past. It's important for you to heal through this so that you can change the outcome of what may happen in the future. Two of Cups. Someone may admire the fact that you have taken on so much alone and may now want to come in and assist you to make things right, okay? You may be in two minds about this. Some of you, you may feel triggered as this deck just burped all over the floor, okay? I'm also getting, for some of you, it may be time to burp the baby or something to do with... <laughs> the baby puking? Okay. Pisces, I don't know. I'm I'm seeing baby throw up, okay? Interesting. High priestess. Your intuition is telling you it's time to move forward in a situation. You may not know the best direction to take, but you know that there is action that is required here. You intuitively are getting the undertone of this, okay? You may feel that moving forward in this situation has been difficult because you've had to deal with so much deception in the past, but you are trying to think positively of the best way to move forward regarding a situation. Yes, secretly, you're very much concerned about how others will view you or your status or your reputation. But right now, spirit is urging you to lead with your heart, not your wallet. 